All right, everyone, welcome back. We are going to look at Bitcoin really quick here. And we're just going to simply go by the most recent high to the low, low to the high here with the Fibonacci retracements here on the daily chart for BTC. I rarely make BTC updates here on the channel just because I know nobody really cares about uh, the TA on BTC. Uh, there's so much speculation out there and so many crazy BTC charts and everybody thinks they know where it's going. Uh, I do not know where it's going. I'm going to tell you that right up front. Um, so looking at it simply from the chart that we have here, you can see right now we're getting stuck right below from the low to the high. We came down to our 382. We're retesting the 236 here at 2772 as resistance. This is the same spot we got stuck at back in late August. And that is your price to beat here. So just keeping it real simple on BTC over the next two hours. If you can close over 2772, then you are, or at least it looks like you are coming back up here to the to that high at 28.59 here for a 3% move. And then these other red lines that I have on the chart, which you can see correspond with support and resistance back here are uh, the Fibonacci levels from this high to the low here. Uh, I just didn't want the screen too messy, so I just marked them with these red lines. Uh, so just like I said, to keep it real simple, we can see, uh, of course, we see that in the price, but the stock RSI, the MACD, everything shows us that we do have momentum at the moment. The Heiken Ashi candles, they are printing green, but they are uh, indecisive, as you can say. They do have shadows on them, so it could go either way from here, but from what the chart is telling us, as long as we, from the low to the high, bounced off of our 382, we're extremely bullish here. And if we can break over the 2772 level here, uh, look for 28.5 for that 3% move to be your next stop. Uh, if you can break over that, so we're just gonna go from where we are right now. If we can manage to get over 2772, move up to that 28.59, the next stop after that is going to be, you can see about 2900 for a four and a half percent move and then so on and so forth uh if we cannot for some reason get over this price level here then our support area of course is down here at the three two and possibly the 100 day ema so not even a two percent drop on btc so as long as you stay over 27 one here you're still extremely bullish in my opinion so we could end up going sideways like this for who knows how long and then going up we could go sideways and then fall off the table but as of right now, uh, as long as we stay over that, uh, we're still making higher highs and higher lows here. And it is still bullish, in my opinion. It looks to me like it's the beginning of an uptrend uh, that may be pretty strong here. You could see the moving averages curled down here. Now they're curling back up. We do have that bullish cross with the yellow there, the 50-day EMA crossing over the 200. And then we have that 21-day EMA here in blue almost going vertical heading for that 200 so once all these cross uh, back above the 200 and then the 100 here um, that's going to be a pretty strong uptrend in my opinion that BTC is going to begin and then I'm going to start looking at these higher price targets to get hit uh, so we'll leave it at that I just wanted to make a quick BTC update let you guys know what's going on with it and just keeping it real simple here so yeah with that said now financial advice thanks for watching everyone peace out